If you want to learn how to do sections in Blender, then here are three simple ways to do so. One is the obvious Boolean method. You have a building of many parts and want a 3D section on it. You can start by adding a cube and from the object properties, make it preview as wire or bounds. Next, we're going to pick one of the building pieces, go to the modifiers tab and choose Boolean. The new Boolean has three solver methods instead of two. The new manifold is promised to do same as the exact method with the speed of the easy one, which is now called float, but not all object or manifold, so it's better to stay on the first option for fast cutting. Once you're done, pick all the other pieces in the building, hold shift, and reselect the one with the modifier, then control L to copy the Boolean to all the pieces. Don't mind those connection lines appearing on the cube. It's trying to connect the cut points to the cube vertices. And since there are just four on the face, a simple subdivide can solve that. But this cube won't even render. The second way to make 3D sections is with shaders, since we only need to hide part of the building. The transparent node is a player here. So select a part as before, add a material to it, Add a transparent node and mix it with the diffuse. Then in the mix factor, we will add a texture coordinate to assign an empty or an object as a cutter, just like the cube before. Therefore add any empty, no matter the shape, and assign it in the object field in the coordinate node and connect the object coordinate to the mix. Now this set is giving us an opacity shift effect, and we don't want that. So for sharp cutting, we need to add a separate axis node to pick a direction, and we will leave it on X for now. Then we need a math node, place it on less than or greater than, both the same with different cutting sides, connect the separate X to the threshold, and keep the other value at zero to center the cut with the empty. Then we can copy this material to all the other parts by selecting them, Hold Shift and select the part with the material, and Control L to link the material. This method is much lighter than the first one, but it's not the best on cycles, cause you will get a big black weird mesh, rather than transparency. But with Eevee it's the best, so keep your options available. Last method to do 2D and 3D sections is with basic tool cutting, since if we select multiple objects and go into edit mode, we can work on them all together. So why not use the bisect tool to directly cut all the mesh we have? And it gives you the option to delete any side from the cutting section with those clear in and out options, and can be changed along the building with those numbers at the top, but it has one downside, which is it's destructive so you need to have a copy of the building before you go with the bisect tool. But that's also easy. Move it to another file, cut it, and bring it back. That's it. Have fun cutting and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.